Hey everybody, Ben from Nutshell here, and joining me on the other side of the screen is Nutshell co-founder and chairman, Guy Suter. Uh, now, Guy and I have had some really interesting conversations lately, so I wanted to bring him in for a little talk about the past and the present of Nutshell, and how our company is thinking about solving some of the challenges of the future. So, Guy, thanks for joining me today. Yeah, good to be here. Uh, I wonder if you could start by telling us a little about your role in the founding and the launch of Nutshell. How do you fit into the origin story? Sure. So uh, I'm one of the co-founders, along with Andy Fowler. Uh, so Andy and I actually met when he was in high school. So we have quite a long history. <laughs> but way back in the beginning of Nutshell, circa 2009, I guess, uh, you know, Andy had just graduated uh, college and he had moved to Ann Arbor uh, from Kentucky. And he and I were talking about starting a company together, you know, very exciting conversation. Uh, and yeah, we, we identified uh, the CRM space as one that, you know, I had had uh, a lot of personal pain with uh, in our, our previous company. Uh, we had tried everything out there on the market, including Salesforce and NetSuite and Infusionsoft and, you know, every, everything possible and just didn't feel like it met our needs and felt like it was overly complicated and uh, so yeah, so we had built our own internally at that startup, you know, which is, you know, you, it was a data backup company. So we didn't, we didn't start out with the idea of building a CRM, but uh, we built one for our, our purposes and our needs. And that you know, kind of inspired us, you know, as Andy and I were looking at it and, and said, hey, you know, it seems like there's an opportunity to build a better CRM for businesses that's, that's easier to use. Uh, and so that was, that was the beginning of it. Uh, and, you know, the first, first few years was a lot of whiteboards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and now the rest of us are here and, and sort of like history has been written over the last decade. It's kind of amazing uh, uh, what you and, and Andy and the team have sort of grown this company into. And, and over that last de decade, you've seen you know, Nutshell, you know, go through a lot of phases of life from that scrappy startup in the beginning to, you know, now a leader in the CRM space. Uh, and there's been some detours along the way, of course. But how would you define the stage that Nutshell is in now? Uh, I, I think it's a really fun stage because, you know, we're, we've grown up in that we're a real business and um, especially in, in times like we're in right now today, you know, it's, uh, I'm uh, eternally grateful that we have this company that is operating from a position of strength in a global pandemic, you know, <laughs> so um, that's, that's really cool. Uh, and I, I think this stage is really about focusing on our customers, you know, back to our roots of like the things that have really worked for us, which is building great products. Um, so I, I kind of think of it as like an innovation stage. Yeah. Were there any lessons that you learned, uh, you know, back when Nutshell was still finding its way or, or when the company was on less secure footing? Um, yeah. I mean, I, I think the, the beginning of any company, you know, before you have a, a product and customers is really about, is there a problem out there that we can solve better than other people are? Uh, and it's, it's really about market fit, right? You're, you're trying to create a product and, and build something that's going to be useful to people. Um, so I'd say, you know, that was kind of our first stage. And then, you know, suddenly that, you know, that worked, you know, we put it out there and people enjoyed it and they were, they were coming to us and telling us all the other things they wanted us to do in it, you know, the, uh, the, the features that they wanted that we didn't have yet. Uh, and so we were we kind of heads down for the first several years. And then I think at some point we kind of looked around and realized that, wow, there's, a real business here, you know. This is, you know, there's a lot of customers and it's great product, and um, maybe we should grow it more. And I, I think that the one lesson that I, you know, I learned uh, is to, you know, just focus on what you do well, right? I mean, we we raised some venture capital, we kind of got on the the VC wheel, you know, people talk about it as a hamster wheel, and uh, brought in money thinking that we could spend our way to faster growth and become a bigger company. Um, and you know, I think our intentions are really good. You know, we thought that. That's what everybody else does. You know, they bring in a bunch of dollars and they spend it and they scale up faster. Uh, and the result is you have a bigger business, which means you have more resources to help your customers, right? Um, but, you know, I, I think what we learned there is that, especially in an industry like this where there's so many competitors, you know, just spending money, like our customers don't care about how much venture capital we have. They don't care about how many ads we run. Uh, they care about the product, right? They care about the product and how it makes their life better. Uh, and that's the thing, you know, when I look back on our history, the times where we've really invested in innovation and product are what has made us what we are today. You know, we were um, the first, I don't know if this is a long winded answer, but oh, great. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, like we, you know, we were the first CRM out there that had integration with G Suite. We were the first CRM to my knowledge that had a mobile app. Uh, and yeah, as you know, like our sales process uh, management is, is uh, from day one has been one of the things that I always felt was really important to be able to have consistency, you know, across what sales reps are doing. 
Um, and then, you know, when I look at the last few years, I think the things that stand out that, that really had ultimately the most impact in the company was taking that sort of G Suite email experience to Office 365. You know, now that, you know, Microsoft's customers have moved to the cloud and we can do that, right? Um, going back to that original sort of sales automation tool we have and re-envisioning it with a kind of a more modern user experience, like those investments that the company has made have really paid off. And, and, and today, you stand out as some of the, the strongest things we've got in the product. So I think the lesson is like, be less worried about everybody else's metrics of success and less worried about like what you should do as a startup uh, and just focus on what you're good at, you know, yeah. build yeah, and the product's been such a great story for us. And, and lately, you've been more involved in, in helping the team envision the next phase of the product, which is releasing a combined sales and marketing platform. I'm sort of breaking a little news right here. But but first of all, you know, tell me why you think sales and marketing teams would actually want to work out of the same platform, out of the same tool. What are the consumer pain points that this would solve? Yeah, it's, it's a great question. I mean, it, we, we think a lot about, you know, where is our product today? What would help our customers more? Where's the industry going? You know, what are best practices? And, you know, we're, we're very lucky in, in, at Nutshell. You know, we've got, you know, a lot of diverse customers. Um, and, and especially right now, you know, that, that, that's really helping our business, you know, because some of them are very affected by what's going on. Other ones, you know, not so much. And it gives us a position to be able to, you know, really, really continue to innovate on the product. And I think that what we see in our customers is a lot of them are small teams. You know, they don't think of themselves as the sales team and the marketing team. It's, you know, it's a small company. Uh, oftentimes, you know, the founder or the CEO of the company is making the purchasing decision in the first place. Um, and they're, they're not really thinking about wanting to be in different software. They just want to solve problems. You know, they want to, they want to get back to the customers. They want to, you know, talk to leads. They want to you know, find new opportunities. They want to, you know, you know, send out marketing emails. They want to do good content. You know, they're, they're not thinking about it in terms of, oh, I've got to go buy a point solution here and a point solution there. And I think that on the small side, one of the benefits is just less to, you know, less to manage, less complexity. Um, as the companies grow, and, and we've got lots of large companies with uh, using the Nutshell platform too, I think what we see is it becomes even more challenging as, as the business grows to keep that data in sync between the different functions and let the, the things that are happening in sales activity help the marketing team talk to the customers better and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so less complexity, uh, keeping data in sync. And, and another thing that we often talk about in our meetings, uh, you know, or at least on the growth team specifically, is this tension uh, that exists between sales and marketing teams. What causes that from your perspective? And, and how would a, a unified sales and marketing tool help to cure some of that tension? Yeah, I um, mean, I think anytime you're working from a different playbook, you know, there's, there's going to be there's going to be tension because it's, it's just natural when you know, you've, you've got different success criteria uh, for different groups of people that, you know, if, if I look at my success criteria and says I'm doing great, and you look at yours and says you're doing great, but there's, there's some kind of disconnect, um, there's going to be tension. And I think, you know, the historic one that I've always seen, you know, the companies that I've been part of is, is kind of the marketing people saying, hey, we're getting you all the leads you need, and the salespeople being like, yeah, but they're not really high quality. So, you know, and, and this kind of like debate between, you know, our are the things that we're doing bringing in the right people that really are a fit for our product, yeah. you know, so that they're sort of qualified in a way that we, we feel like we're going to be able to be successful, you know, placing that product. Um, and I think that if, if we're operating on the same tool and we're measuring to the same results, uh, it becomes so much easier to, in real time, to look across our marketing channels and see which ones are working and which ones are not. I mean, you and I just, you know, have spent some time on this quite recently, you know, like in you know, nutshell, just, yeah, did a fabulous work over the last two plus years building this content program that that you and Rebecca and Mike, you know, have put together. Um, and, you know, we took a look at it and it was like, wow, it turns out that, you know, our content marketing uh, and putting valuable data, you know, valuable sort of information out in the world is outperforming paid advertising. And so we slashed almost all the paid advertising, you know, so I think that's a that's a great example of that decision. Probably we would have come to sooner and it would have been easier to make if we didn't have to go to three different places to sort of like track down what's really happening. Right? Yeah, very true. Absolutely. And uh, you know, some of our competitors have already started dipping their toe in this water of, you know, building this sort of unified tool uh, or tacking one piece that they didn't have onto the other that was existing. Uh, what opportunities do you see to do it better at nutshell? Yeah. I mean, I, I think, you know, there's, it is a big market. There's lots of CRMs out there. 
uh, and lots of people doing different things, lots of people bringing CRM-like features into other platforms. Um, so we're seeing a lot, of, uh, a lot of change, which is always exciting. Um, I, I think when it comes to combining sales and marketing tools into one, really, you can divide the world sort of between HubSpot and then, you know, who's doing it at a level and then kind of everybody else that's kind of talking about maybe doing it. Um, and so, you know, we're maybe in that, you know, here we are talking about maybe doing it, right? <laughs> we're clearly in that camp right now, you know? So I think, you know, it goes back to like the lessons learned, like focus on what we're good at. We're really good at baking products that people enjoy using and solve real problems. And this is a real problem. Uh, we've got real customers that are telling us every single day that it's a pain point dealing with integrations and going back and forth between their sales and marketing tool and not having them connected. And so I think, you know, really, the thing that we can do is to, to live up to you know, being the best product we can to our customers is really solve the challenges they're telling us that they're having, right? Um, and I, I think the other, the way I would look at that is like, you know, HubSpot's kind of, I, I think the leader in terms of like realizing that these things really should be in one place under one roof, uh, but it's really out of reach for a lot of people. I mean, yeah. it's, a, it's a pretty expensive product. Um, I've, I've used it personally at other companies and it's, you know, it's very complicated. They, it, a lot of the things that, inspired us to start Nutshell in the first place, you know, after having used systems like Salesforce are, are similar in HubSpot. You know, they're really angled at sort of upmarket enterprise complexity uh, in a way that doesn't speak to the typical Nutshell customer. Yeah. So I think the thing that we can do and bring it to the market is, is do it the Nutshell way, right? You know, do it, do it the way that makes sense for the types of teams that, you know, Nutshell makes sense for. And I think that um, one of the big things that I've always been proud of is, you know, you can line up our product against almost any other product out there and, and give somebody a sheet of tasks, say, hey, hey, do this, do that, you know, set up a sales process, you know, you know, whatever, whatever it might be. And nine times out of 10, the experience of doing it in the nutshell product is quicker and easier and, and faster to adopt uh, than it is in a lot of other products. So I, I think we take this vision of combining these tools together and we deliver to the market in that way and, and people are going to be really happy about it. Yeah, very well said. Uh, that's all I have for now. Thanks for the insights, Guy. And hopefully we can do this again in person sometime soon and dig even deeper on these topics. And uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.